Counterattack Zhang Wuji, stupid. Lick Zhou Jirua, be the villain. Damn it. Dot. Traveling through the world of martial arts, Song Qing Shu became the son of Song Yuanxiao, the leader of the Seven Swordsmen of Wudong. At this moment, I have already planned for a beautiful future. Song Qing Shu is someone with exceptional talent, outstanding appearance, strong background, and excellent reputation perfect persona. I follow the rules and practice, learn management from my father, and drink tea with my mentor Zhang Sanfeng. It's okay to prevent the tragedy of Zhang Tsueishan and his wife committing suicide, even if they fail. During Zhang Wuji's two years in Wudang, I took care of him. In my spare time, I went to find a beggar named Zhu Yuanzhang and offered favors without expecting anything in return. He helped several times in secret when he encountered difficulties or wanted to do something. The Battle of Guangmingding reveals one's hand. What is the concept of waiting for a few years? There is a junior brother who claims to be the best in martial arts in the world, Zhang Wuji. In the future, the emperor will be my friend. Dad is the leader of Wudang, one of the top forces in the martial arts world. With this foundation and this card face, anyone who sees me will respectfully call out, Young Xia Song, as time passed, Zhang Wuji became more and more powerful, and Zhu Yuanzhang gained more and more power. The background is infinitely enlarged. I wander in the rivers and lakes, life is beautiful. Counterattacking Zhang Wuji. Zhou Jiruo. The villain. Go to hell. Unless I'm crazy. Keywords of the novel. Heaven Reliance. Rebirth of Song Qing Shu, perfect opening with no pop-ups, Heaven Reliance. Rebirth of Song Qing Shu, perfect opening complete collection download, Heaven Reliance. Rebirth of Song Qing Shu, perfect opening latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Zhang Sanfeng Centenary Celebration. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 2 Crushing the Last Straw of a Camel. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 3 Zhang Tsueishan and his wife return to the mountain. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3, Zhang Tsueishan and his wife return to the mountain, Senior Brother Song, aren't you resting yet? As the sun set in the west, a disciple saw Song Qingshu asking at the door. No need, Song Qingshu replied with a smile, I'm waiting for second senior uncle, you don't have to worry about me. The disciple bowed slightly and left directly. Song Qingshu looked at the departing disciple and sighed in his heart. There are really a few disciples in Wudang. After the seven heroes of Wudang, he was the only disciple of three generations. The others are named disciples. As night falls Song Qingshu had no choice but to give up and probably won't come back today. That's tomorrow. He has an idea in his mind to come and wait earlier tomorrow. The next day, there was a slight dawn Song Qingshu came directly to the Wudang Mountain Gate without morning exercises. At noon. At the foot of Wudang Mountain, there was a rapid sound of horse hooves, and many people came. Song Qingshu heard from a long distance, and in a moment, everyone appeared in front of him. Senior Brother Song. The disciple guarding the mountain looked at Song Qingshu with a questioning intent in his eyes. They have been in Wudang Mountain for a long time, and every time Grand Tutor Fu Shouchen comes, they are acquaintances. But this time, they don't know any of these people. They can't make waves at the foot of Wudang Mountain, Song Qingshu smiled. Just follow the rules. As he spoke, he left the gate and walked towards the side door. According to his memory, the main army has arrived, and Uncle Zhang Tsueishan's 5th Division should arrive soon. At this moment, Wudang Mountain became lively, and one by one, the worshippers were sent to the main hall by the mountain people. The side door is relatively far away and a bit hidden. Many times it is used by people who go up and down the mountain to purchase. In three hours. 
Song Qingxu saw a carriage turning from the entrance and soon stopped at the door. Who? If you have something to do, pay respects to the mountain gate. Song Qingshan shouted when he saw someone coming. In some immature voices, neither humble nor overbearing. Eh. A wave of surprise came from within the carriage. Don't lift the curtain, one person poked it out, their face a bit pale. Qing Shu. Song Qingxu's face changed drastically and he ran over quickly, reaching a distance of several tens of meters. Second senior uncle, Yu. This person is the second uncle of one of the seven heroes of Wudong, Yu Lianzhou. Yu Lianzhou stopped Song Qingxu's worries and said, It's okay. Pointing to Zhang Tsueishan beside him, he said, This is your fifth martial uncle. Zhang Tsueishan looked at Song Qingxu in front of him, his eyes full of amazement. This is Big Brother's son. I didn't expect it to be so big in the blink of an eye. Uncle Wu, let's go first. Song Qingxu saluted respectfully and looked at the stunning woman leaning against Uncle Wu in the carriage. Is this? Aunt Wu. You kid. Yu Lianzhou laughed heartily, but coughed lightly due to the injury on her body. Zhang Tsueishan, Yin Susu didn't expect Song Qingxu to ask such a question. But neither of them is a dull person. Yin Susu leaned against Zhang Tsueishan, and it was not difficult to guess. But this also indicates that Song Qingxu's intelligence and eyesight are not ordinary, go ahead, Song Qingxu didn't say much, after all, second senior uncle was injured. He speculated that it should be the Xianming Divine Palm. Zhang Wuji was kidnapped by one of the two elders of Xianming. He had thought that second martial uncle was injured, but he didn't expect it to be so serious. The three of them entered Wudang Mountain directly. Yu Lianzhou has injuries on her body, and Yin Susu needs to rest due to concerns about Zhang Wuji. Uncle Wu, I'll take Uncle Air and Aunt Wu to rest first. Song Qingxu explained to Zhang Tsueishan and led the two of them to avoid the person climbing the mountain and walk towards a separate courtyard. Yu Lianzhou was arranged in a separate room. Second senior uncle, I have already had someone notify Master Tai. Yu Lianzhou nodded and said, Hello, how are you treating your fifth aunt? Many people have come this time. It's not appropriate to appear now. Your father will discuss with other senior uncles before making a decision. Song Qingxu respectfully withdrew and comforted Yin Susu, who had been looking worried. Aunt Wu, it's okay. The big thing is that Wudang is fine. My father has other martial uncles, but we still have a master. Master Tai is a world-renowned figure, rest assured. Yin Susu didn't know, but there were too many implications involved. Hey. Thank you, can I call you Qingxu? Of course, Song Qingxu responded while asking Yin Susu to sit down inside the room. Take out some pills from Wudang to restore qi and blood and give them to Yin Susu to take. Yin Susu was not too polite either. Although they don't know each other, they are much closer due to their relationship with Wudang. Yin Susu has a good sensory experience with Song Qingxu. In the side gate of Wudang Mountain, Song Qingxu remained calm and composed, facing an unknown carriage and coming to the side gate, he promptly stopped it. After seeing that Yu Lianzhou was injured, he achieved great success in the Wudang Ladder Cloud Flying skill. Then came the observation in the carriage, which in just an instant determined her relationship with Zhang Tsueishan. Not only that, but he also directly spoke up to ease that awkwardness, and there was an explanation afterwards. In this way, Zhang Tsueishan can quickly enter Wudang Mountain, and Yu Lianzhou's second brother can heal his injuries quickly. They can also avoid other people who go to Wudang Mountain to cause trouble. Although they are all small things, combining them together is not easy. This child is only 12 or 13 years old. Qing Shu, are you 13 years old today? Yin Susu slowly spoke. Song Qingxu smiled and said, Well, I'm almost thirteen years old. Has Aunt Wu and Uncle Wu had children yet? Yin Susu's face showed a hint of concern upon hearing the sound. 
I have it, I am nine years old now. Unfortunately. Speaking, I didn't say anything further. Song Ching Shu knew In Su Su's concerns, and he also knew that she was a strange woman. Aunt Wu. I see that your steps are light, and although there are traces of time on your face, you still have a graceful demeanor. You should also be a martial arts practitioner. I don't know which famous artist it is. Today happens to be Master Tai's birthday. I will send someone to pick them up at Wudang and have a gathering. How about that? In Su Su's hand, which was originally drinking tea, froze slightly. Bring me to Wudang. Looking up, Song Qing Shu had a sincere expression on his face. Give a light sigh. Now that I have arrived at Wudang Mountain, I cannot conceal some things. Qing Shu, I am from the Tianying sect. As he spoke, he generally looked at Song Qingxu's expression. After all, in the eyes of countless people, the Heavenly Eagle sect is considered an evil and heretical sect. Song Qingxu pondered for a few seconds and said, The Heavenly Eagle sect, it's really not suitable now. In a few days, then. I'll have someone pick them up in a few days. Speaking as if I didn't feel right, I quickly explained. Aunt Wu, I don't mean anything else. I just feel like there are too many righteous and prestigious people today. We can ensure their safety inside Wudang Mountain, but we are afraid of accidents if we leave Wudang. In Su Su originally thought that after hearing about his identity, Song Qing Shu felt repulsed and disgusted. Or rather, he is a witch. Unexpectedly, Song Qing Shu didn't feel anything, but was considering her. Qing Shu, the Heavenly Eagle sect is an evil demon and an outsider. Aren't you afraid that I'm a bad person? Song Qing Shu smiled and said, No, I'm not familiar with you, but I'm familiar with Uncle Wu. Since you are the wife of Uncle Wu, you are from Wudang Mountain. Not an outsider. At this moment, Yin Su Su only had one feeling that Wudang had a successor. The future of returning a child is limitless. Song Qing Shu is young, talented in appearance, and has excellent internal skills. Not lacking in knowledge, not bound by the distinction between good and evil. This is something that many people never see through in their lifetime. Thank you. Aunt Wu, you're welcome. Song Qing Shu stood up and poured a cup of tea for Yin Su Su. May I ask you something, Aunt Wu? It's not the dragon slaying saber. But the Heavenly Eagle sect. Sure, let's ask. Yin Su Su smiled and was very fond of Song Qing Shu. Even if I don't live in Wudang in the future, my child Wuji will still live in Wudang. Song Qing Shu and Zhang Wuji are not much different, and they spend a lot of time together. Song Qing Shu pondered for a few seconds and said, Auntie Wu, since you are from the Heavenly Eagle sect, you should know about the dragon slaying sword battle ten years ago. Back then, my third martial uncle was injured with a hidden weapon, and that person was the Tianying sect. My third martial uncle's martial arts are not top dot notch in the world, but they are not much worse. According to Aunt Wu's understanding of the Heavenly Eagle sect, how many people can there be? Upon hearing this, Yin Su Su's smile instantly solidified and she looked up at Song Qing Shu. The two of them looked at each other, and Song Qingxu's eyes did not dodge at all. At this moment, she knew she had underestimated the boy. This young man has genuine respect for her, but he also has many doubts about her. You know me. Yes, Song Qingxu did not conceal anything. There is some speculation. I have seen a portrait of Aunt Wu. Aunt Wu is a remarkable woman of the time, and it is difficult for Qing Shu to forget her. The daughter of Yin Tianzheng, the white eyebrow eagle king, one of the four great protectors of Mingjiao. Master Ziwei, Yin Su Su. End of this chapter. Chapter 4, Song Qing Shu and Yin Su Su. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4, Song Qing Shu and Yin Su Su Yin Su Su didn't expect that as a fairy, she was somewhat unaccustomed to being praised so much by a decent descendant. A strange woman, a beautiful country and a beautiful city. 
Qing Xu, you are really capable of elevating Aunt Wu. Song Qing Xu's expression was positive. Aunt Wu can handle it. In Susu also stopped pestering this question. Are you doing it for your third uncle? Did you check all of these? Song Qing Xu responded, Yes, two years ago I started to be exposed to some martial arts affairs. In addition to my father and fellow martial uncle's interest in training me, I can also utilize some resources from Wudang. So, I checked some things. For example, Uncle San was injured. The distance from Jiangnan to Wudang Mountain is so far, even if it's a month's journey without any waves. It's too abnormal. Since the Heavenly Eagle sect has killed Third Martial Uncle, it is absolutely impossible for him to return to Wudang Mountain. The journey was too smooth, it was so smooth that one had to think more. What do you say, Aunt Wu? Wudang has produced a character, Yin Susu looked at Song Qing Shu with admiration in her eyes. At a young age, one can perceive things that ordinary people cannot. What is your guess? Song Qing Shu spoke up and said, Aunt Wu, let me tell you. Listen. There's something wrong, you interrupt. This is just speculation, no one else will know. Yin Susu suddenly had a bad premonition in her heart, as Song Qing Shu was as intelligent as a demon. Okay. Song Qing Shu slowly spoke up and said, I'll make a bold guess. According to my father and other senior uncle's descriptions of fifth senior uncle, he is not good at women's sex. Simply put, I rarely interact with women. When men and women are together, there must be someone who takes the initiative. My fifth martial uncle is afraid it will be difficult. Perhaps it was Auntie Wu who first fell in love with my fifth martial uncle and then approached, that there was a follow dot up. Yes. In Susu remembered everything from the beginning, and it was indeed her initiative. Yes. Song Qing Shu continued, since this is established, I will continue to speak. According to my understanding of Aunt Wu, her methods are ruthless and not false, but she also has her own scale in her heart. Aunt Wu has a hint of respect for her actions towards Wudang Mountain. Whether it's the seven heroes of Wudang or the Grand Master Zhang Sanfeng, that's right. You know me so well, Yin Susu didn't expect Song Qing Shu to read so thoroughly. Yes, the seven heroes of Wudang are chivalrous and righteous, sometimes a bit clitch AD, but it doesn't hinder my admiration. I have great respect for your master. Continue. She knew that nothing could be kept hidden. Song Qing Shu has already guessed a lot, it's just a matter of time. Song Qing Shu smiled and said, Thank you, Aunt Wu. I won't say anything more. No need, it's all a family. Knowing these is enough. Yin Susu's expression fluctuated and she slowly spoke out the conclusion of Song Qing Shu. I am enamored with Brother Wu. Respect Wu Dong. My third brother was injured by the Heavenly Eagle sect. As the leader of Ziwei Hall, I definitely know. Especially when it comes to big things like the Dragon Saber, I have no reason not to know. Is that right? Song Qing Shu looked innocently at Yin Susu and said, Aunt Wu, I'm still a child. I'm only twelve years old and not thirteen years old. That's all I've thought of. Yin Susu had a smile on her face, indicating a change. Child. Who is so demonic at the age of twelve? Qing Shu, what do you want to say about these things? Or rather, what do you want me to do? Song Qing Shu revealed a smile that should be present in his youth, incredibly brilliant. Aunt Wu, please leave Wudang. Uncle San, I will find a way to cure it. Well, if I can't do it, add your child and let's work together. I am a master and a prominent figure in the world. Aunt Wu, your father is one of the four great protectors of Mingjiao. Although he has now become independent, there are still some friendships. Regardless of the style of Mingjiao, at least they have great influence and influence. As long as there is a way in this world, we will definitely cure Third Master well. What are you saying? 
In Susu's heart thumped as she recognized the meaning of Song Qingshu. Are you sure that Uncle San's injury is related to me? When Song Qingshu saw In Susu directly pointing it out, there was no need to conceal anything. In Susu cannot have any luck in her heart. Yes, even if it's not you, it's someone close to you. My third martial uncle's strength is there, and the Heavenly Eagle sect can harm others, only a few. Those people, without exception, are all close to you. When I saw you coming back with Uncle Wu, I guessed many things. As for the evidence, it's not necessary, Aunt Wu. What do you think? Once there is a barrier, it is a barrier. Everyone is not a foolish person. In Susu's eyes flickered and her expression was extremely reserved, like a thorn piercing her heart for ten years. She was afraid, she was afraid that Zhang Tsueishan wouldn't forgive him after knowing. She is well aware of the loyalty of the seven heroes of Wudang. Although some of Song Qingxu's speculations are far-fetched and lack evidence, the result is correct. Yu Dian's injury is indeed related to him. Qingxu. Why? Since you know, why are you hiding it? Or, to put it another way, if you don't tell your father, it's actually my senior uncle. Song Qingxu remained silent for a long time and said, I don't know what to do inside. On one side is Uncle Wu, and on the other is Uncle San. I only know that if Uncle Wu finds out about this, the outcome will inevitably be tragic. Uncle Wu couldn't get through the chopping in his heart, he couldn't face everyone. Aunt Wu, you can't face everyone either. Your child, it's the same. According to my understanding of third senior uncle, he would silently bear all this for fifth senior uncle. The seven warriors of Wudang have the same brotherhood. He has already done this, so he will definitely not make the fifth martial uncle suffer more. What about Uncle Ku Wu? How can he bear it? He's not alone, he's responsible for you and his children. Being called a hero for a lifetime, being honest and straightforward for a lifetime, but ultimately carrying an unjust name. How can we educate our children in the future? How can our children grow up like this in the future? Whether it's brotherhood or family responsibility, he has to give a choice, or rather a solution. Aunt Wu. What do you think we can do to solve it? I can't believe it. In Susu's body was trembling, and with her intelligence, she could certainly guess. In order to prevent her and her son from being blamed, according to Zhang Tsueishan's temperament, he will definitely resist. That's all I can do. No. Fifth brother, nothing can happen. This is my fault, I will take responsibility for it myself. Aunt Wu, keep it a secret, Song Qingshu said helplessly. Will Uncle Wu make you bear it? Leaving Wudang Mountain, I guess your child should have had an accident. Don't worry, Master Tai will definitely take action. My senior uncle and his team won't let anything happen to the child. Take a step back, you can use the Heavenly Eagle sect to help find your child after you leave. If the Heavenly Eagle sect doesn't work, I believe it's not impossible for your father to ask Ming sect for help for his own grandson, is it? You must make a choice whether you don't want to part with Uncle Wu or your child. I can't hide this matter. You and I both know about Uncle Wu's temperament. Let's take a dual approach, children. Wudang and Tianying sect are looking together. As for the future, no matter where the child is, even in Wudang Mountain, no one will stop you from coming up. At most, you can avoid third master. As for Uncle San, we can find a way to cure him. After being cured, let's apologize together. Uncle San's situation now, Uncle Wu must be unbearable, but if Uncle San recovers, there will be a change. In Susu found it difficult to make a choice in her heart, and she knew that what Song Qingshu had said was true. The best way is to leave Wudang Mountain. With a sense of luck in mind, he said. If I bite to death and don't say anything, wouldn't it be okay? The scene of San Shishu lying in bed unconsciously appeared in Song Qingshu's mind. Sad and unbearable voices rang out. Do you know how my third senior uncle has been living these years? 
The whole body's muscles and veins are completely broken, unable to move. What he can do is watch the leaves outside the window sprout from spring to fall. In winter, the leaves are no longer there, and he either watches the raindrops falling outside the window or the snowflakes flying. As the cold wind howled by, he was thinking whether it would rain or snow tomorrow. He had nothing else in his heart, only memories of the past, accompanied by the leaves outside the window. I once asked Uncle San how much he remembered about that day. Do you know what Uncle San said? Remember every word and sentence in your heart. That kind of hatred. Deeply ingrained in the bone marrow. I guess the person who gave me Uncle San back then was Aunt Wu. Your words, even a seemingly unrelated one, may evoke Uncle San's dusty memories and hatred. Perhaps I guessed wrong. It wasn't you who escorted me back then, but since you reside in Wudong Mountain, do your close friends want to come and see your child? Can you guarantee that third senior uncle won't hear you? Don't take chances. With a reward of 2,000 tails of gold, there are only a few people in the Tianyin gang who can have such skills. This is also the first time I brought you here to rest and rest after meeting you. Unless unexpected, my father and a group of senior uncles are all in Uncle San's room. You're going over soon, at least you need to meet once. If you can guarantee that the person who escorted Uncle San will not go to Wudang in his lifetime, you can also stay. Aunt Wu, please think carefully. How to choose between your own choices. Of course, these are my guesses after all. If everything is wrong, Aunt Wu just needs to listen. Qing Shu is only for the good of Wudang, with no other intentions. End of this chapter Chapter 5, Yin Susu's Choice You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5, Yin Susu's Choice Never Go Up Wudang Mountain How could this be possible? Yin Susu's face turned bitter and she sighed inwardly. She was the one who hurt third brother in the beginning. The dusty past of ten years was unexpectedly uncovered by a child who was only twelve or thirteen years old. The room fell into tranquility. I don't know how long passed, but a sound of footsteps came from outside the door. Aunt Wu, I'll go take a look. Song Qingxu nodded slightly at Yin Susu and walked out. Outside the courtyard, Wudang disciples stood outside with a middle-aged man. Senior brother Song, this is a member of the Tianying sect. They are here to find their own young lady. Song Qingxu asked Wudang disciples to step down and bow slightly to the middle-aged man. Song Qingxu has met his senior. Senior, please come with me. Aunt Wu is in the courtyard. The middle-aged man was slightly surprised, but the child didn't show any displeasure because he belonged to the Heavenly Eagle sect. Instead, they are respectful and courteous. Thank you very much. The two of them entered the room, and Yin Susu looked at the person's face filled with joy. Uncle Wufu. This person is not an outsider, but one of her father's three servants. Three people were saved by their father when they were besieged by enemies. Afterwards, in order to repay his kindness, he followed Zwa and changed his name at the same time. Yin Wufu. Yin Wulu, Yin Wusho. She hasn't treated many people as servants since she was young. I've seen Mississippi. Yin Wufu saw that Yin Susu's face was extremely happy. Over the years, they have done everything possible for ordinary ladies. Not long ago, I heard that the young lady appeared, and the three brothers followed the orders of the sect leader and rushed over directly. Qing Shu, let me introduce you. This is Yin Wufu. Yin Susu did not forget to introduce him to Song Qingxu. Sooner or later, Song Qingxu will be wandering in the martial arts world. She has a good eye connection, and with her relationship, she can take care of her more in the future. Song Qingxu bowed again and said, I have seen my senior. Yin Wufu quickly replied, You're welcome, you're welcome. Three people sit down. Yin Wufu spoke up and said, We have prepared a generous gift this time, and at the same time, the leader misses Miss very much. 
we three brothers are coming together this time. If there is anything, Miss can directly give orders. In Susu had some doubts when she saw In Wufu. In Wufu, In Wulu, and In Wusho all acted together. Why is there only one today? What happened? In Wufu smiled and explained the reason behind it. It turned out that someone spoke ill of Zhang Tsueishan, the fifth martial uncle, and the three of them took action to teach him a lesson. The others are over there, In Wufu came to see the young lady. Song Qingxu was secretly surprised while listening, and the people who were being taught by these three were not ordinary people. Qi Tianbiao and three others are all heroes in a local escort agency, and have become famous in the martial arts world for a long time. Although they may not be considered the top characters in the martial arts world, each has their own unique skills. Not only that, there is also the Tan family of Kaifeng Prefecture, who are also well-known elderly people in the martial arts world for a long time. These people are not simple. Miss, my uncle asked me to come over and ask you to greet Zhang Jinren, In Wufu said. In Susu's eyes showed a hint of worry and fear. Please say hello. Will the third brother Yu Daiyan be here? If her voice is heard by her third brother Yu Daiyan. So Song Qingxu saw that Aunt Wu was worried and poured a glass of water over, saying, Aunt Wu, drink tea. My master's secluded place is secluded in a remote hall, and ordinary people cannot go there. Don't worry about being discovered by others. I don't even care about Aunt Wu's identity, Master Tai definitely won't care. In Susu took the tea cup and took a light sip, feeling relieved when she heard Song Qing's words. She does have concerns in her heart. The first is his third brother Yu Dai Yen, and the second is his own identity. Song Qingxu's words were tactful, seemingly saying nothing but saying everything. The secluded area of Zhang Zhenren is a bit far away, and his third brother Yu Dai Yen's legs and feet are inconvenient, so he definitely won't be there. As the first disciple of Wudong, Song Qingxu must be familiar with Zhang Zhenren. Her identity is not a problem. Let's go. We can't keep our brothers waiting for too long. In Wufu and In Susu walked out, and Song Qingxu stood up to bid them farewell. As she left, In Susu suddenly stopped, with a resolute expression in her eyes. Qingxu, I may need your help later. You can wait here for me to come back. Aunt Wu, you're welcome. Qingxu is waiting here, Song Qingxu responded with a smile and watched as the two of them left. He knew that Yin Susu had already made a decision in her heart. Go down Wudong Mountain. Take a deep breath of relief in your heart. This is the best solution he can think of. Yin Susu left Wudong Mountain and the seven heroes of Wudong fought against the heroes. As for the strength of the Wudong's seven heroes, he is not worried at all. The progress of Wudong Mountain's internal skills is faster and faster as they progress. In recent years, except for Ziawaiki Shishu, everyone else is a current expert. And this time it's a group battle. Wudong's true martial arts seven cut formation is bound to become famous throughout the world. The seven disciples of the true martial arts seven cut formation each have a set of martial arts skills, each with its own subtle and mysterious aspects. If two people work together, they will have both offensive and defensive capabilities, with great power. If three people use it together, the power is twice that of two people using it together. Four people are equivalent to eight experts, five people are equivalent to sixteen, six people are equivalent to thirty point two, and seven people are equivalent to sixty point four world. Class experts shooting at the same time. This battle is sure to win. And it's a complete victory. Song Qingxu arrived at the door of Second Senior Uncle and called out softly. Second Senior Uncle, Master Tai has passed the level. Creek Yu Lianzhou pushed the door open and took Wudong pills with rest, his complexion improved slightly, but it was still a bit severe. Yu Lianzhou saw that Song Qingxu was worried and gestured, it's okay. Your second martial uncle, I haven't seen any big winds or waves before, it's just a small matter. Let's go over with me. 
Song Ching Shu smiled and shook his head, second senior uncle is not suitable. Uncle Wu's return, Master Tai must be very happy. It's been ten years since we last had a good gathering, so it's not appropriate for me as a younger generation to be present. Plus, the matter of the dragon slaying knife needs to be discussed. Moreover, Aunt Wu said she wants to get familiar with Wudang Mountain, so I'll take Aunt Wu for a stroll. Although we are not afraid of others in Wudang, it may be better to avoid it at all. I am familiar with Wudang Mountain and it is just right. Yu Lianzhou felt that what Song Qing Shu said was reasonable. Gathering is one aspect, and the most important thing is the dragon slaying sword. There are indeed some things that need to be discussed. Looking at Song Qing Shu, his eyes were filled with satisfaction. I was worried that you would be seen out because of your fifth aunt's identity before, but now it seems that I am too worried. The words paused slightly, recalling Zhang Wuji who had been taken away. Hey! Be a good companion to your fifth aunt. Song Qing Shu sat in the courtyard, listening to the occasional hurried footsteps in his ear, with no worries on his face. As long as Aunt Yin Susu leaves Wudang Mountain, it is not a problem to keep the news of her third junior uncle's injury hidden. As for the future hmm it's not a big deal. The reason why Wudang Mountain is so passive this time is mainly because no one familiar with Wudang has invited them. Master Tai's ability to make people all over the world respect Zhang Jinren is not just a boast, but a killing. Make friends all over the world. If Wudang is prepared, what about dealing with the world's heroes? Famous and upright. He he. Shaolin, Amei, Kunlun, Hua Shan. Song Qingxu's face showed a hint of sarcasm, just a group of jumping clowns. The seven heroes of Wudang have passed their sedimentation period, and now any one of them is a world.class expert. Although Zhang Tsueishan's fifth martial uncle delayed the time, his strength was not inferior. What kind of goods are the second-generation disciples of their sect that can compete with Wudang? Wudang has been highly respected in the martial arts world over the years, thanks entirely to the reputation created by the seven heroes of Wudang. For example, his father, as well as his second martial uncle, even when facing the highest-ranking official in Shaolin, the Kong generation still has the power to fight. End of this chapter Chapter 6 the appearance of the two elders of Xianming. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 The appearance of the two elders of Xianming. A gentle breeze came, mixed with noise and panic. Outside the courtyard, people occasionally hurriedly run by. Not long after, a person ran in, looking embarrassed. This person is Zhou Yu, who manages the logistics of Wudang. Senior Brother Song. Song Qingxu looked puzzled and said, What's going on? Zhou Yu reluctantly spoke out about the pain involved. There are too many people coming at this time, and we are completely unprepared. With so many people, we don't know what to do for a moment. We're afraid we won't be able to entertain well. Senior uncle and they are all on the side of the Grand Master, and we. Song Qingxu understood what was going on and smiled, just cabbage and tofu, Wudang is already poor. Suddenly, with so many people, everything was unprepared. This. Zhou Yu felt a moment of embarrassment, cabbage and tofu. Senior brother Song, isn't it too? Song Qingxu did not respond, but instead asked, what gift did they give as a birthday gift? Zhou Yu also had some understanding of this and responded directly. Only what Ame delivers is truly a heavy gift. In addition to the sixteen colored precious jade, there is also a large red brocade Taoist robe embroidered with a hundred different characters of longevity, on gold thread, which requires a lot of effort. The others are all temporary purchases of longevity peaches and longevity noodles from the town of Shanxia, hastily purchased. Before he could finish speaking, there was a hint of enlightenment in his eyes. This group of people obviously came from a bad source. The founder of the Grand Tutor is a prominent figure in the world. How could the birthday ceremony be so hasty? Senior Brother Song, I understand now. 
I'll go handle it right away, it's just uncle's side. Although unhappy in their hearts, they still have to listen to the arrangements of the martial uncles, and they cannot make decisions without authorization. It's okay, I'll go talk to you, Song Qingshu smiled. Besides, I want you to treat me well now, and you can't do anything about it. A clever woman cannot cook without rice, can she? Master, you all understand. Zhou Yu smiled and respectfully saluted, I understand. I went. Eating. What kind of food to eat, I'll be leaving soon. Song Qing Shu smiled as he saw the person leave. He is well aware that eating is impossible. After finishing the fight, I have no face to wait. Shaolin disciples face the seven heroes of Wudong, even if they lose three martial uncles, six against seven is still a crushing situation. According to my father's temperament, I may leave some room for compromise and be humble for a few rounds. Uncle Ku's temperament is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. Today, Master Tai and his group of people came knocking on him, but they couldn't bear it. Without any accidents, it only takes half a cup of tea at most. Cabbage and tofu, wasted. Wudong. Is thriving. According to his memory, if Wudong did not produce the traitor, Song Qing Shu, it would not have declined. The best among licking dogs. Song Qing Shu thought of Song Qing Shu in the book and didn't know how to speak for a moment. For Zhou Zhirua to get into that situation. A good Wudong mountain has caused him no harm. There are many beautiful women in the world, why are they only interested in Zhou Zhiruo? It's outrageous. After a long time Yin Susu returned with Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho. Yin Susu's face was somewhat pale. What's wrong? Song Qingshu's face was a bit worried, thinking that an accident had happened. Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho saw Yin Susu's gaze and respectfully withdrew. Yin Susu breathed a sigh of relief and said, Qing Shu, thanks to your reminder, otherwise there would really be a problem. The seven heroes of Wudang are dealing with Shaolin disciples. Several brothers hope that I can replace your third martial uncle and have him teach me some steps and techniques to fight on your behalf. Fulfill the reputation of Wudang's seven heroes. If I go. So. She couldn't imagine that scene, once her third brother Yu Dai Yen recognized her. The consequences. Although I have avoided it now, I still feel a chill when I think about it. Song Qing Shu knew these reasons and saw that Yin Susu's face was not right. I have some speculations in my heart. So, Aunt Wu, you deliberately made your internal breathing chaotic and hurt yourself. Yin Susu said, there's no other way, I can only use the excuse of worrying about my child. Send me down Wudong Mountain. Okay. Song Qing Shu didn't ask much, as long as he avoided meeting Aunt Wu and Uncle San. With Yin Susu, along with Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho, they quickly headed towards the five great back mountains. This kind of thing will eventually change. Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho followed a wave of doubt in their eyes. Especially the reaction of the young lady. Coming out from Zhang Zhenren carries a hint of concern. Miss, young master Song. At this point, Song Qingshu had no time to explain, as he was afraid of any unforeseen circumstances. Yin Susu did the same. She had heard the explanation from her fifth brother Zhang Tsueishan, and the seven-cut formation of Wudang Zhenwu was incredibly magical, which was not a problem for Shaolin. Wudang doesn't need to worry. Now she is worried about her own child and the exposed grudges with her third brother Yu Dai Yen many years ago. Several people are using their lightness skills to shuttle at lightning speed. Even if someone sees it, it just quietly fades away, after all, Song Qingshu's leading Wudang disciples will not stop him. After a moment, everyone left Wudang Mountain and arrived at the foot of the mountain. In the jungle, Yin Susu only had time to explain the reasons to Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho. Whether it was the injury to my third brother Yu Dai Yen or the fact that my child was taken away. 
After hearing this, Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wushou suddenly realized that they also knew about the incident they had taken action against Yu Dai Yen. I just don't know about Zhang Wuji being kidnapped. Upon hearing this, Baran was furious. Don't worry, Mississippi. Your child will definitely be fine. I'll have someone investigate immediately. Song Qinshu bowed slightly to several people and said, Auntie Wu, three seniors, let's say goodbye now. Yin Susu was extremely grateful to Song Qinshu, and today's tragedy was completely avoided because of Song Qinshu. Qinshu, thank you very much. In the future, when wandering in the martial arts world, remember to come and see your fifth aunt. Definitely. Song Qinshu responded with a smile and turned to leave. At this moment, Yin Susu watched as a figure in the distant jungle flashed by at lightning speed. That person was dressed in Tartar military uniform and had a young child in his hand. Although she didn't see anything, she flashed past, but she saw the child's clothes. She personally sewed it for Zhang Wuji. How could she forget? She misses this figure day by day. Wuji. Endless longing and worry erupted, and a loud shout chased after them. Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho are truly experts, with incredibly rapid reactions. At the moment of hearing Yin Susu's shout, the three of them chased after her. Yin Wufu did not forget Song Qing Shu, and quickly chased after him with Song Qing Shu. Chasing and roaring at the same time. Don't leave. Put down the child. Dot. The figure swiftly passed through the jungle, and Yin Susu's face turned even whiter because she had previously refused to let the Wudang Seven heroes suffer from internal injuries. But she doesn't care about these at all, she only has her own child in her heart. Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wusho are also old martial artists. Judging from their lightness skills, one can tell that they are not ordinary people. Call someone. A beam of flames shot up into the sky. Song Qing Shu was sandwiched between Yin Wufu's body, looking at the figure ahead and feeling secretly worried. This direction is up to Wudong Mountain. Don't meet third senior uncle. And that person should be one of the two elders of Xianming, and there may be another hidden nearby. The two elders of Xianming rarely separate. Although the three brothers Yin Wufu are not vulgar, they are the two elders of Xianming. That's really not ordinary goods. His goal is Wudong. It must be investigating the whereabouts of the dragon slaying saber. Be careful. This person is not an ordinary person who can harm my second uncle. Although his voice was loud, no one was listening by now. Yin Wufu and his three brothers were notorious thieves in the underworld before following the leader of the Heavenly Eagle sect, in Tianjin, and were not ordinary people. I am quite proud. Otherwise, I wouldn't have run over to block the door and even picked up someone else's escort flag just because someone had spoken ill of Zhang Tsueishan before. It is evident that one is very confident in their own skills. It goes without saying that since marrying Zhang Tsueishan, Yin Susu's eyes have been filled with Zhang Wuji. Thinking day and night, how can you not chase after me now that I see it? Something's going to happen. Song Qingshu had only one feeling at this moment. Something big is going to happen. End of this chapter. Chapter 7, Yu Dian's Dust Trapped Hate. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7, Yu Dian's Dust Trapped Hate Wudong Rear Hall. Everyone gathered in Yu Dian's room. The people of Wudong originally wanted Yin Susu to replace Yu Dai Yen and achieve the reputation of the seven heroes of Wudong. I never thought that Yin Susu would be injured now, and I don't know what to do for a while. The seven warriors of Wudong are like brothers and sisters, and they don't want to lose Yu Dai Yen. Big Brother This They are bound to win this battle, and Yu Dai Yen is just looking for someone to replace him. At this moment, many people looked at their sixth brother Yin Lighting. When they proposed before, there was no discussion, but each person wrote down the suitable candidates in their hands. Everyone else wrote about Yin Susu, 
only Yin Lighting wrote about his fiancée A. E. G. Xiaofu. Why don't you let Xiaofu come? Yes. It's feasible, that's all. Dot. Yin Lighting had always hoped that his fiancée A. E. would replace his third brother, and the previous situation was a bit awkward. I am delighted to hear that. Third brother, what do you think? Yu Daiyan smiled and said, Sure. You bring Xiaofu over, I'll teach him the pace. Inli Pavilion bowed to the crowd with a happy expression on her face and quickly ran out. At this moment, a disciple came in outside the door. I have met all the senior uncles. Master, senior brother Song and Miss Yin have gone down the mountain. What? Everyone was surprised and went down the mountain at this moment. Now all sects are here to find Zhang Tsueishan and Yin Susu. If you encounter Song Yuan Xiao shouted, Nonsense, how can we let them go down the mountain at this time? Why didn't anyone stop you? The person who lowered their head dared not even look at Song Yuan Xiao, but their heart was filled with bitterness. Stop it. How can I stop him? Although senior brother Song is young, he is always sensible. Many things can be handled. In addition, senior brother Song, who was already the son of the Grand Master, was greatly favored at the foot of Wudang Mountain. Let's go down. Yu Lianzhou waved his hand and let the person come down. He also knows the thoughts of others. Big brother, we can't blame anyone else for this. Not to mention the others, just a few of us senior brothers, often don't care about Qing Shu. Now that Wudang is facing a great enemy, everyone must think that Qing Shu has received our order. The others nodded. Yeah, big brother Qing Shu is sensible and won't mess around. Don't worry. Although Qing Shu is still young, he has a sense of propriety in his work. Dot. Zhang Tsueishan looked at Song Yuanxiao with an angry expression and quickly explained, Big brother, we can't blame Qing Shu for this. It must have been Su Su's worry about Wuji, coupled with someone from the Heavenly Eagle sect coming, that's why Qing Shu went down the mountain. It's all because the insiders are not good. Song Yuanxiao sighed when he saw all his junior brothers like this, Oh, you are just too fond of Qing Shu. I'm worried about my siblings' safety. Now that all major sects have arrived, there may be danger outside Wudang Mountain. Everyone also knows that the current situation is indeed like this. The major sects on Wudang Mountain cannot act recklessly, but it's not necessarily the case if they go down the mountain. In addition, Song Qingshu rarely leaves Wudang Mountain and does not know any major sections. If we were accidentally injured together with the Heavenly Eagle sect, Big Brother. Big Brother. Everyone. Dot. Zhang Tsueishan saw everyone's concerns and quickly said, Listen to me, you don't have to worry about this. The three people taught by Tianying this time are not ordinary people. Qi Tianbiao and three others who came to find Big Brother before. The Tan family of Kaifeng Prefecture's Divine Spear were all stopped by the three brothers of the Yin family. Safety, there should be no need to worry. Everyone was somewhat surprised upon hearing this, and it was not easy for the Heavenly Eagle sect to come at this time. Zhang Tsueishan explained the previous incident, causing many people to worry and let go. Not long after, Ji Xiaofu from Amei came in, but she didn't want to resist it very much. She has always felt sorry for Yin Lighting because of Yang Zhao's situation in her heart. Master's fate is difficult to achieve. I've met all the seniors. Dot. Shortly afterwards, Ji Xiaofu pushed Yu Daiyan out of the room. At this moment, a group of heroes gathered in Wudang Mountain, creating a noisy scene. The reason is simple. The seven heroes of Wudang have been in there for too long. Outside the main hall, the seven divine monks of Shaolin dominate the center, exuding a sense of grandeur and just waiting quietly. When the seven warriors of Wudang appeared not far away, the originally noisy scene instantly stopped. Many people were secretly surprised as they looked at Yu Dai Yen, who was using a wheelchair. Now that ten years have passed, Yu Dai Yen is still unable to move. 
This injury was quite remarkable back then. Many people secretly took a look at Shaolin. The injury of Yu Dai Yen was caused by the powerful diamond finger of Shaolin. Previously, everyone in the hall thought that Wudong had exaggerated the extent of Yu Dai Yen's injury. At first glance, there is no exaggeration at all, but rather a slight lightness. Wudong is on par with Shaolin, and there is also a true Zhang who has not been cured in recent years. This injury is likely to have died long ago in other sections. Such hatred, Wudang will not be in trouble with Shaolin for ten years because there is no conclusive evidence, and this kind of anger cannot be compared to ordinary people. The seven heroes of Wudang are truly admirable. At the foot of the mountain, Yin Susu and Yin Wufu quickly chased after the two elders of Xianming, but even though they kept chasing, they still lost their trace. And now it is already inside Wudang Mountain. Ant Wu. Ant Wu. Song Qing Shu was anxious in his heart as he watched Yin Susu charge straight into Wudang Mountain. If he went inside now, everything would be over. If a third senior uncle Yu Dai Yen notices, then, touch. At this moment, a flash of fire could be heard not far from the sky. It's the king of Yin. Let's go. Brother. Yin Susu and Yin Wufu, the three brothers, saw the signal and knew who the incoming person was. Song Qing Shu was shocked in his heart. Prince Yin Yi has also arrived. And this direction. Wudang Square. Soon, the roar of King Yin Yi came from the air. Put down the child. Seeking death. Eagles chirp from time to time in the air. In Wudang Square, Wudang's seven heroes and Shaolin were originally preparing to compete in martial arts. The roar of King Yin Yi reached the square with unparalleled clarity. Child. What's going on? What happened in Wudang? Dot. The seven heroes of Wudang's face changed greatly, and it was rare for the person who kidnapped Zhang Wuji to come to Wudang. Yes. That person is just for the dragon slaying saber, and I can't hide what happened in Wudang today. That's him. That's him. Just as everyone was puzzled by the seven heroes of Wudang, Yu Dian's eyes turned red and filled with endless anger. Endless voices of grief and indignation echoed in the air. Puff due to being too excited, I fell directly from the wheelchair. Despite this, the bright red eyes remained fixed on that direction. Third brother. Third brother. What's going on? What's going on? Countless people in the martial arts world also looked bewildered. Why was Yu Dai Yen so excited? That person poisoned me, that's the voice. I will never forget it in my lifetime. There was a commotion around, and those who injured Yu Dai Yen went to Wudang. And that child. When the two are combined, this hatred cannot be tolerated by anyone. The seven heroes of Wudang flew away. At this moment, a childish shout came from the sky. Release Song Qing Shu. What's up to me? I'm Zhang Wuji. End of this chapter. Chapter 8, I am Zhang Wuji. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8, I am Zhang Wuji, Qing Shu. Wuji. The seven heroes of Wudang had a big change in expression and rushed over without hesitation. Someone had already informed Song Qing Shu that he was going down the mountain, and they were worried about safety. I didn't expect to have died by now. Compared to the lightness skills of the Wudang's seven heroes, Zhang Sanfeng's figure flashed by in a flash, making it impossible to catch up with. Zhang Sanfeng had always harbored a grudge against evil, but only began to cultivate his character as he grew older. At this moment, both of his disciples and grandsons were killed how could he bear it? Some people in the martial arts world originally wanted to stop Zhang Tsueishan, fearing that he would leave and never return. Watching Zhang Zhenren take action, all the internal energy that was originally active was calmed down. This is Zhang Zhenren. The Shaolin Kong generation previously proposed a three-on-one competition. They are definitely not enemies. Take a look. Let's go. 
We absolutely cannot let Zhang Tsueshan leave. Dot. That person injured Senior Yu. We cannot let him leave. Let's go help. Yes, such petty people must not be allowed to leave. Dot. The people of the martial arts world each had their own thoughts and all went out towards the sound that had sounded before. Above a pavilion. A person wearing a Tartar military uniform was holding a child in his hand. Surrounded are the three brothers Yin Susu, Yin Wufu, as well as Yin Yuang and a group of experts from the Heavenly Eagle sect. At this point, the surroundings were already in ruins, indicating a significant battle. Do you think the person the Tartars are blackmailing is Song Qingshu? Not Wuji. Yin Yuang wiped the blood from his mouth and looked at Song Qingshu for a moment, asking. Yes. Song Qingshu responded directly when he saw Yin Susu about to speak. Uncle, I am Zhang Wuji. The person in the hands of the Tartars is Song Qingshu, the son of my uncle. Yin Susu and Yin Wufu looked bewildered. Song Qingshu. Zhang Wuji. This they are well aware that Song Qingshu is lying. Although Yin Susu had doubts in her heart, it was evident that Song Qingshu had a resolute gaze and did not want to cooperate directly. Song Qingshu is an exceptionally intelligent child. Now my child is in the hands of that Tartar, and his skills are top dot notch. Perhaps Song Qingshu has a solution. Brother, yes. The person next to you is your nephew, who is the son of Song Yuanxiao, the seven heroes of Wudong. When we returned, we happened to meet Song Qingshu. That person caught the wrong one. The three brothers Yin Wufu didn't say anything when they saw Yin Susu say so. I can only explain to the Eagle Wild King in the future. Song Qingshu. Song Yuanxiao's son. Yin Yuang laughed three times, with a hint of blood oozing from the corner of his mouth. His son has nothing to do with me. As long as my nephew has nothing to do. A hawk chirped in the air, and the black eagle landed directly on its arm. The previous precautions and vigilance have all disappeared. Ha, huh, do you think we're stupid? We caught the wrong person, ridiculous, ridiculous. The Tartar's eyes showed a hint of sarcasm, not believing these lies at all. Song Qingshu shouted loudly, after you catch Song Qingshu, you will definitely be subjected to severe punishment to extract a confession. What did you ask about? Is there nothing at all? Don't you think it's strange? Why is this child so stubborn? Because he doesn't even know what he said. Your kind of torture, even adults cannot bear it. How could a child bear it? The Tartar was startled in his heart, and there was a slight decrease in doubt in his eyes. They tortured the child after catching him, but the child didn't say anything. This is not normal. They were still doubting why this child could resist so much before. I didn't even know. The child in my hand is so passionate and righteous. If it were the son of Song Yuanxiao in Wudang, it would really be possible. Huh, even if this person is the son of Song Daxia, it's not a bad thing. Zhang Wuxia has a strong sense of righteousness and will definitely not neglect his nephew for the sake of Xie Sun. What to say? At this moment, King Yinyi had already arrived at Song Qingshu, somewhat favored, and placed his hand on Song Qingshu's head. Let's go back to Tianying's sect with my uncle. Wudong will handle this matter on their own. Yin Wufu and his three brothers exchanged a glance at each other, causing a commotion uncle, my father, my mother taught me to be honest and upright, said Song Qingshu, who was also doing a full play at this time, they want to arrest me, I can't let Song Qingshu make me suffer. Besides, he is my uncle's son, so I can't have any trouble with him. I'll exchange Song Qingshu. You let him go. The Eagle Wild King didn't even look at the child, but glanced at Yin Susu and said, It's cliché. What kind of a good child has taught you? Let's go. After the words fell, there was no time to refuse and he was about to leave with Song Qingshu. Yin Susu stood in front and said, Brother, that's Big Brother's son. 
Now I'm Zhang Suishan's wife. We cannot leave. Big brother's child has had an accident, and we feel uneasy. We cannot let this Tartar leave. We just need to procrastinate and wait for Wudang people to come over. Prince Yin Yi is not at all entangled with Yin Susu, he doesn't want to meddle in this matter. If the Tartars are ordinary people, it's okay to say that they can help. But that Tartar is not easy, he retreated step by step in just a few rounds. If we continue to fight, we may end up falling into this trap. Looking at the three brothers Yin Wufu next to him. Take the young lady with you. Yin Wufu and his three brothers are suffering now. Let's go. Miss, the child is still in that person's hands. Not far away, one of the two elders of Xianming looked at Zhang Wuji, who was already unconscious in his hand, and then at Yin Yuang preparing to leave with Zhang Wuji. What kind of person is the king of Yin? Although he is cruel and ruthless, he also has feelings and righteousness. If Zhang Wuji is really in his hands, the prince of Yin can ignore it directly. Yin Susu is the flesh of the white eyebrow eagle king's heart, and Yin Yuang also loves this sister immensely. How could my younger sister's son not care? Huh, truly the son of Zhang Wuxia, he has always had a chivalrous heart since childhood. We were originally planning on Xie Sun's whereabouts, and we don't want to be enemies with Wudang either. Okay. Zhang Wuji, I agree with you changing to Song Qingshu. Come here. King Yin Yi looked at the Tartars like an idiot and said, Do you think it's possible? Yin Wufu, let's go. Ignoring it at all, just leave. Let my nephew replace Song Yuan Xiao's son, unless he is sick. As for my younger sister, let's just play around on a whim. It's not possible at this time. Changing people. Don't even think about it, Song Qing Shu will die if he dies. Yin Susu glanced at the three brothers of Yin Wufu and shouted sternly, Take action. Touch. Yin Wufu and the other three suddenly attacked the prince of Yin and snatched Song Qing Shu. Seeking death. King Yi of Yin roared angrily. They never expected that the three brothers of Yin Wufu would dare to take action against him and agree with Yin Susu's absurd actions. A figure quickly ran over to a hidden place not far away. This person is one of the two elders of the Xianming who have been hiding inside for a long time. That person went straight to Song Qingshu. Boom! Although King Yin Yi was angry, he saw someone attacking Song Qing Shu and didn't think much about it. He stood in front of him. The three brothers of the Yin family are also like this. The Xianming second elder, who was originally holding Zhang Wuji hostage, threw away Zhang Wuji in his hand and flew straight over. As long as there is Zhang Wuji, Xie Sun's whereabouts can be known. Going up Wudong Mountain is completely unnecessary. At this time, the Prince of Yin and the three brothers of Yin Wufu were dealing with one person, while Yin Susu was protecting Song Qing Shu. Watching Zhang Wuji being thrown out, his hanging heart was relieved. Qing Shu. Let's go. Let's go. She already knew that her child would be fine, and now it's Song Qing Shu who is in trouble. Song Qing Shu looked at the rapidly approaching elder Xianming and smiled at Aunt Wu. Aunt Wu. This is Wudong Mountain. Master Tai is here. From roaring to now, that's enough time. Just as the two elders of Xianming thought they were going to succeed, a figure quickly approached not far away, dressed in a white Taoist robe. Catch Zhang Wuji and clap him with one palm. The thick internal force creates huge vibrations in the air. Not good. One of the two elders of Xianming, who was originally planning to snatch Song Qing Shu, was shocked in his heart. He knew that Zhang Sanfeng had arrived. This is a big shot. I am definitely not an opponent. But there is also hatred in my heart. Turn around in the air and leave at lightning speed, but don't forget to retaliate when you leave. With a palm strike, a thick internal force poured out. Despite being injured, Yin Susu hesitated and stood in front. Although Song Qing Shu was protected behind him, 
he was still affected. In Susu and Xian Ming are not exactly the same. Song Qingxu only felt a rolling sensation in his body, and a huge pain struck. Puff. Aunt Wu, let's go. Let's go. Before I could finish speaking, a mouthful of blood overflowed and I fell into a coma. The two elders of Xian Ming fled directly, and Zhang Sanfeng handed over Zhang Wuji in his arms to Yin Susu. Quickly come and check the unconscious Song Qingxu, and a wave of true qi is transported in. Yin Susu hugged Zhang Wuji and said urgently, Zhang Zhenren, is Qingxu okay? Zhang Sanfeng breathed a long sigh of relief and said, it's okay, just rest for half a month. Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, Yin Wushou. Yin Yuan looked at the three of them and let out a cold shout. The three of them looked helpless, but after all, they had taken action against the Prince of Yin. King Yin. Brother. Yin Susu looked over. Hmm. Eagle Wild King waved his sleeve. He was not a fool, of course he knew who his nephew was. Salute slightly to Zhang Zhenren. Zhang Zhenren is polite now. Let's go. At this moment, the major sex had arrived and looked at Yin Susu holding two children, feeling confused. Song Qingxu. Zhang Wuji. What's going on here? Dot. Many people were also confused. Although they were far apart before, they could still hear the situation here. Zhang Wuji, many people have never seen him at all. The same goes for Song Qingxu. Qing Shu. Qing Shu. Qing Shu. Wu Ji. Dot. The Wudang Seven Heroes quickly ran over and felt fortunate to see two of them safe. Yin Susu and Zhang Tsueishan, the couple, were extremely grateful and bowed to Song Yuanxiao. Thank you very much, big brother. Thanks to Qing Shu this time. We, on behalf of Wu Ji, Thank Qing Shu for his life. Saving kindness. We are brothers and sisters, and Qing Shu is bigger than Wu Ji. It's appropriate to take care of Wu Ji. Song Yuanxiao lifted the two and shook their heads. Looking at Yin Susu, she asked, Sisters, have there always been only a few of you here? Yin Susu responded, Yes, except for those two Tartars, there are only us. That. Song Yuanxiao felt a bad premonition in his heart. Not only Song Yuanxiao, but also others. They came here to save the child, it's true, but Yu Dian's injury is so hateful. That person is right here. Zhang Tsueishan's body was trembling and he said, Su Su, who was the person who yelled at the child before. Yin Su Su's pale face due to injury felt as if she was dead silent. Looking at the eyes of the seven warriors of Wudang, my body trembled. She knew she couldn't keep it hidden. San Guyu Dai Yen recognized his brother's voice. Everything is as Song Qingxu said, San Gu remembers that memory in his heart, and that hatred runs deep into his bones. Fifth brother. Brothers, back then. When San Gu was poisoned. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Young Heroes, Song Qingxu. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Young Heroes, Song Qingxu, Cough. Cough. In a few courtyards, there were a few faint coughs, and the guards outside the door ran in great haste. Touch. The two of them came in and saw Song Qingxu getting off the bed and falling to the ground without taking a few steps. Senior Brother Song. Senior Brother Song Song Qingxu didn't have time to check his physical weakness, so he tightly pulled his junior brother he aside. His face was extremely anxious. Brother he, how long have I been unconscious? What's going on outside? Senior Brother Song, you have been unconscious for a whole day, Wang he responded directly. Outside. Looking at Song Qingxu's anxious gaze, he hesitated to speak. Senior Brother Song, please rest well. I'll go notify other senior uncles. Song Qingxu felt a sense of unease rising from their faces. Is it, Brother He? 
Wang He shook his head and said, Senior Brother Song, I'm not very clear about what happened yesterday. You can ask other senior uncles. At this moment, people outside walked in carrying medicine. Senior Brother Song, this is the medicine instructed by Master Bo. Make sure to drink it when you wake up. Song Qingxu took the medicine and remained silent for a few seconds. Uncle Wu, and Aunt Wu, are you dead? Senior Brother Song. Several people were about to persuade, but were directly interrupted by Song Qingxu. Tell me. Yes. A few people let out a long sigh. Before they came here, Master Bo had already instructed not to tell Senior Brother Song this news. Worried that Song Qingxu's injury will worsen. Senior Song sacrificed his life to save Zhang Wuji before, as everyone in the martial arts world knows. Senior Brother Song is a young hero who values love and righteousness. If Senior Brother Song knows, it will definitely be a blow. Senior Brother Song, you. One person still wanted to persuade, but Song Qingxu waved his hand, drank the medicine directly, leaned against the bed, and waved his hand. I understand. I'm fine, you all go out. Several people saw Senior Song like this, exchanged a few glances at each other, bowed respectfully, and walked out. Quickly run to inform Master Bo and the others. Song Qingxu looked at the leaves outside the window, his eyes filled with helplessness. Still dead. Why did he die? I still couldn't stop it. Hey. When Elder Xianming went to Wudang, he suspected that something might happen. So, as a last resort, I could only deceive the two elders of Xianming like that. The result was good, he prevented the two elders of Xianming from going to Wudang Mountain. He's not in much danger either. But Uncle Zhang Tsueishan and Aunt Yin Susu still died. Qing Shu. Qing Shu. A rush of footsteps and shouts came from outside the door. The door was pushed open directly. Song Yuanxiao looked at Song Qingxu leaning against the window and quickly walked over to investigate directly. Father, I'm fine, Song Qingxu looked at his father's slightly weak expression. Song Yuanxiao breathed a sigh of relief. Although his master said it was okay, how could he not worry if he was unconscious for a day? Originally, he consumed too much due to healing with Zhang Wuji and needed to recover. I heard my son wake up and didn't care about anything, so I ran over directly. Okay, okay, okay. Song Yuanxiao's tired face showed a smile. Just rest for half a month. Take a good rest. Song Qingxu nodded and said, Father, your complexion is not good. Let's go rest first. I'm fine. Just have junior brother he and his team take care of me. Okay, okay. Although Song Yuanxiao wanted to spend more time with Song Qingxu, Zhang Wuji couldn't delay. Hello, rest well. Father has gone. Song Qing's book was sent to his father, and he had many questions in his heart, but he didn't ask. He could tell that his father was very tired. Although my father tried his best to conceal it, he couldn't conceal his fatigue at all. Is Zhang Wuji. Still hit the Xianming Divine Palm. In the next two days. Song Qingxu stayed indoors, recuperating and recuperating, while he shitty stayed with him all the time. However, most of it was just casual chat, rarely mentioning the events of that day. Perhaps it's because Song Qingxu is worried. On the third day. Song Qingxu was already able to get out of bed completely, and his internal injuries could only be slowly healed. Get up and walk outside. Senior Brother Song. Where are you going? I'll accompany you, Wang He asked on the side. Song Qingxu smiled and said, No need, I'll go see Uncle Wu's son. You don't have to follow me. I have recovered now, just slowly adjust the internal injury. Wang He quickly said, Senior Brother Song, Zhang Wuji is injured and has been receiving treatment these days. I'm afraid. It's okay, I'll just take a look, Song Qingxu responded and headed towards the place where Master Tai was closed off. 
behind the Purple Cloud Palace. Several disciples saw Song Qingshu bowing respectfully, their eyes filled with admiration. People in the martial arts world now admire Song Qingshu immensely. At the age of only 13, he was so righteous that he sacrificed his life to save Zhang Wuji. Senior Brother Song Senior Brother Song Song Qingshu nodded slightly as he looked at the Wudang disciples, and he could see the emotions in everyone's eyes. He originally just wanted to stop the tragedy. Unexpectedly, if I couldn't stop it, I would instead become a celebrity and a young hero. The world is unpredictable. Dong, dong. Song Qingshu knocked a few times outside the door and said, Master Tai, all senior uncles, Qingshu, please see me. Come in, Zhang Sanfeng's tired voice came from inside the room. Creak the door was pushed open, and Song Qingshu was slightly stunned as he looked inside. All the seven swordsmen of Wudang except the third martial uncle Yu Daiyan are breathing in it, and their faces are tired. Master Zhang Sanfeng is using his luck to heal Zhang Wuji's injury. Master Tai Ha, huh, when the seven heroes of Wudang saw Song Qingshu arrive, they stopped breathing and saw that Song Qingshu was fine, with a smile on his face. As long as Qingshu is fine. Yes, yes. Qingshu is great. Not bad, he is a disciple of Wudang. Young hero, much stronger than your second martial uncle and me before. Good job. Dot. Although Song Qingshu risked his life to save Zhang Wuji, his starting point was good. Usually, they may need to educate well and not let Song Qingshu be so impulsive. But now, Song Qingshu's injuries can only be mentioned later. Yu Lianzhou, who ranked second among the seven heroes of Wudang, saw Song Qingshu's confusion in his eyes and turned to look at Zhang Wuji who was being treated by Zhang Sanfeng not far away, sighing. This child is your fifth martial uncle's child, Zhang Wuji. After being abducted, this child suffered a lot and was covered in injuries. These are not bad either. The only trouble is that this child has been hit by an incredibly vicious palm technique, the Xianming Divine Palm. Song Yuanxiao patted Song Qingshu and said, Qingshu, you go out. My senior uncles and I also need to treat Zhang Wuji's injuries. You go and accompany your third senior uncle. Your third senior uncle. Hey! You'll know when you go. At this moment, the seven heroes of Wudang had a face full of regret and helplessness. Ching Shu, go ahead. I know you have many doubts in your heart, we will explain them to you in the future. Your third martial uncle has remained silent due to the incident with fifth martial uncle, as usual. We are worried that something may happen to him. Yes, your third senior uncle has loved you since childhood. Go advise him. Dot. Song Qingshu looked at Zhang Wuji with a painful expression on his face and felt extremely complicated in his heart. Salute respectfully. Let's go and see Uncle San now. End of this chapter. Chapter 10, Yin Susu's Adopted Son, The Young Master of the Heavenly Eagle Sect. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10, Yin Susu's Adopted Son, the young master of the Heavenly Eagle sect, the Xianming Divine Palm is indeed terrifying. Master Tai and all the senior uncles cannot stabilize the treatment together. Song Qingshu's understanding of the Xianming Divine Palm has once again increased by one point. Senior Brother Song Senior Brother Song As soon as Song Qingshu left, someone shouted at the door. What's up? Song Qingshu looked puzzled and now the biggest thing in Wudang is to treat Zhang Wuji. Nothing happened in his memory now. This disciple is in such a hurry. The disciple saluted and said, Senior Brother Song, it's from the Tianying sect. They have been in Wudang Mountain all along, and now they know that Senior Brother Song is awake, they must meet once. Song Qingshu didn't ask much and walked straight towards the front hall. In the hall, the three brothers Yin Wufu are already waiting. Upon seeing the arrival of Song Qingshu, he greeted him with great gifts. 
I have seen the young master. I have seen the young master. Song Qingxu quickly lifted the two of them, feeling a sense of confusion in his heart. Young master. Why did he lose control? What is the situation? What happened? Three seniors, you. Yin Wufu smiled and waved his hand. A group of disciples of the Heavenly Eagle sect walked in carrying several huge boxes outside the door. Young master, here are century-old ginseng, jade artifacts, pills. There are five thousand tails of gold left. Song Qingxu is even more confused. He really doesn't understand. Such a big gift. Senior. What's going on here? I really don't understand. Do you have anything to discuss with Wudong? I'll go call my senior uncle. Yin Wuxiu smiled and said, Young master, we all saw that you sacrificed your life to save Mrs. Sun. Although it's just a momentary urgency, we need to remember this situation. Speaking, there was a sigh. Although Miss is dead, she told us before leaving that you are her adopted son. The King of Yin also recognizes you, the young master. Prince Yin also said, you call him uncle and he will recognize your nephew. This. Song Qingxu burst into a bitter smile. This matter has caused trouble. Originally, it was a strategy under urgent circumstances, but now suddenly it has become the adopted son of Zhang Tsueishan, the fifth martial uncle, and Yin Susu, the fifth aunt. And the uncle of King Yin Yi also agreed. Senior. This matter. Yin Wufu continued, Young master, your father Song Dashia has already agreed to this matter. Uncle Zhang Tsueishan and Wudang's seven heroes have always been brothers and sisters, but it's actually the same whether they recognize each other or not. Song Qingxu was surprised when his father agreed. Can you tell me about what happened back then? The three brothers Yin Wufu had a burst of anger on their faces, but they were also helpless. The three of them began to explain. After you fainted, young master, the seven heroes of Wudang learned that it was Miss and Prince Yin who injured you Sanxia in the first place. Uncle couldn't accept it for an instant. At that time, the King of Yin was there, and we were also here. The young lady was afraid that the King of Yin would have an accident with us, so she took on everything. Xie Sun, Yu Sanxia, and with the help of our rescue of Wuji, everything adds up. Uncle must have an explanation for the world, Wudang, and Yu Sanxia. Finally. I swung my sword and committed suicide. Miss went with my uncle. When the young lady left, she specifically explained that the young master has shown kindness to their couple, and she hopes that the King of Yin will repay this kindness. Miss recognizes you as her adopted son, and Prince Yin also agrees. Although the seven heroes of Wudang have some ideas, Zhang Wuji's parents' death has suffered such a great blow, which may not be good for Zhang Wuji's future growth. Young master, you are a few years older than Zhang Wuji. It may be better to take care of you in the name of your brother. This matter has been settled. Song Qingxu understood and didn't expect there to be so many more things involved. Although it may differ from his memory, the result seems to be no different. Since all the senior uncles agree, he cannot refuse. Thank you, three seniors. Yin Wufu, Yin Wulu, and Yin Wuxiu bowed slightly to Song Qingxu. Young master, let's go first. Don't forget us if you encounter any trouble while wandering in the martial arts world in the future. Definitely, definitely. Song Qingxu stood up and escorted the few people all the way to the foot of Wudang Mountain. Young master, stay a step. The three brothers of Yin Wufu dismounted and left. Song Qingxu watched as the three of them left, unsure whether to be happy or helpless. Tianying sect. Young master. Also, because he saved Zhang Wuji before, he has now become a young hero and famous in the martial arts world. Ask Uncle San. I'm afraid my father and uncles promised me to be Zhang Wuji's brother, it's not as simple as Yin Wufu said. Song Qingxu thinks there should be some concealment in it. After a moment, 
he arrived outside the house of Uncle Yu Daiyan. Senior Brother Song Senior Brother Song The guard disciple bowed slightly and was about to enter to report, but was directly stopped by Song Qingshu. Dong 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 Uncle San, I am Qingshu. Come in, Yu Daiyan's hoarse voice rang out. Song Qingshu took a deep breath and pushed the door in. Yu Daiyan lay in bed, looking out the window, his eyes filled with regret and self-blame. Seeing Song Qingshu, a rare smile appeared. But this smile is full of endless bitterness. Qingshu, are you okay? Song Qingshu sat next to him and smiled, it's okay. Just rest for a few days. The room fell silent, and Song Qingshu didn't know how to speak or persuade. He was well aware that the death of fifth senior uncle had a great impact on third senior uncle. There was only the sound of a gentle breeze howling inside the house. After a long time, Yu Daiyan spoke up and said, I have seen people from the Tianying sect. Well, I see you. Song Qingshu replied, I just sent them out of Wudong Mountain. Yu Daiyan sighed and said, Qingshu, we agree to let your fifth aunt recognize you as his adopted son. Let's get you involved with the Heavenly Eagle sect. Uncle, I'm sorry for you. Song Qingshu shook his head and said, It's okay, Wudong was already involved because of Aunt Wu's relationship. It doesn't make much difference. No matter what, Wu Ji is always the young master of the Heavenly Eagle sect, and he is also the only son of Fifth Martial Uncle. This relationship is already complex. Yu Dai Yen sighed and said, Yes. Can. Although he knows, if Qing Shu gets involved with the Tianying sect, he still apologizes to this child. Do you want to hear about the past? The three brothers of the Yin family have said so, Song Qing Shu responded. Yu Daiyan's eyes were full of bitterness, and a deep voice sounded, Qing Shu, I have always remembered your previous speculation in my heart. I'm also thinking, although I haven't made a decision, I'm really wondering whether to be more ruthless towards the Tianying sect or more towards the group of fake Wudang Seven Heroes. That day, the Seven Heroes of Wudang fought against the Shaolin Divine Monk, and I was watching from outside. I couldn't contain my anger when I heard that roar. The next thing is after you become unconscious. Your fifth aunt said everything for the safety of his brother King Yin and the Tianying sect. She only begged to spare Prince Yin and take care of her children. How could your fifth martial uncle let a woman bear it and end all of this by swinging his sword and committing suicide? Your fifth aunt begged us all to recognize you as our adopted son for the sake of the child. Your fifth aunt said, Wuji's father died, and you saved Wuji again. This kindness is beyond heaven, and Wuji will remember it for a lifetime. My elder brother is like a father, I will respect you for the rest of my life. We tried our best to dissuade you, but your fifth aunt still insisted. The seven heroes of Wudang were already brothers and sisters, and having one more title and one less title actually didn't matter. So, we agreed. Speaking, Yu Dian's voice changed and his originally hoarse voice was filled with endless regret. At that time. At that time. We didn't think much, we just felt that it would be better for Wuji to have you as his brother and stay in Wudang. Well. Well. We never expected that your fifth aunt would accompany your fifth senior uncle. It's us fools, it's us fools. We should know that your fifth aunt's words were clearly asking for help. Song Qingshu felt extremely heartbroken as he looked at Uncle San's intimidating and anxious expression. Uncle San, it's not your fault. Uncle Wu died for the sake of righteousness in his heart, and Aunt Wu sacrificed herself for Uncle Wu. These are their choices. The only thing we can do is take good care of Wuji. Let them feel at ease. Yu Dai Yen didn't know, but he couldn't overcome this hurdle in his heart. For the past decade, he has been worried about his fifth brother. This time, it's rare to see him, but he didn't expect to leave again due to his own affairs. And this time it's still permanent. Qing Shu, 
Although your fifth aunt has recognized you as her adopted son and become the young master of the Heavenly Eagle sect. But you must remember the chivalry of Wudong. Ching Shu, understand. Song Ching Shu responded. Go ahead, Yu Dai Yen looked out the window again and his calm voice rang out. Song Ching Shu let out a long sigh in his heart and left directly, making it impossible for Third Martial Uncle to let go in a short period of time. Uncle San is suffering. I have been lying in bed for decades, but with the current blow. Black Jade Intermittent Cream. Hey! Song Ching Shu sat on the steps outside, with mixed emotions in his heart. Perhaps Uncle San's recovery could release a lot of emotions. How to deal with Hey You Intermittent Cream? Where to do it? This thing has always been a secret of the Diamond Gate in the Western regions, and very few people know about it. In the future, Zhao Min will know, but now how old Zhao Min is. According to memory, Zhao Min is a few years younger than Zhang Wuji, and now he is just a child. Who are you looking for? If you want to, you can only find Zhao Min's father, King Ruyang. Ruyang Wang Bing Ma de Marshal, the seven heroes of Wudang only had the chance to die in the past. That's not about seeking medicine, it's about seeking death. He once thought about telling the seven heroes of Wudang, but upon reflection, he still denied it. The first choice is how he knows this problem and cannot explain it. Wudang has been investigating for more than ten years but doesn't know. Is he a child who knows? It is impossible to explain what the evidence is based on, such as personal evidence and physical evidence. Apart from Zhao Min's father, King Ruyang, there is only the Diamond Gate. Based on his speculation, Wudang went to the Diamond Gate in the western regions to demand it, which was like a children's play. He is ultimately just a child. If it takes a long time to go back and forth, others will definitely not give it, after all, the third uncle knows how to hurt the hearts of those people. What should we do then? Snatching. According to the style of the seven heroes of Wudang and the principles of Wudang, it is definitely impossible. It's okay to rob the king of Ruyang. The Yuan dynasty is causing chaos throughout the country, and the people are struggling to make ends meet. Finding an excuse may make sense. Robbing the Diamond Gate of the Western regions is really not feasible. The opponent is far away in the Western regions and not in the Central Plains just because the other person has what you need. If we have no grievances or grudges, will you take action? Run over and grab it. Kill if you don't give it. This is the act of forcefully seizing. If you know it was the diamond gate that injured third senior uncle, it's easy to say, just hit him directly. What about the evidence? Just like Shaolin, there are many people who know the power of the diamond finger, but if Shaolin doesn't recognize it, there's nothing you can do about it. This matter is like Zhang Wuji's injury. Grand Master Zhang Sanfeng cannot defeat the extinct Grand Master of Amei sect. Can't beat Shaolin. Shaolin Sandu Divine Monk may be a bit troublesome, isn't it easy for Amei sect's extinction master? Master Tai can call directly on the door and demand of the Nine Yang Manual. Master Tai didn't do that, which goes against Wudang's code of conduct. Song Qingxu doesn't care about using some means, but he doesn't have the ability. There are hard-working people everywhere in this world. I can only spend more time with Uncle San and educate this idiot Zhang Wuji well. We can't let him be as simple as before. Wuji is happy, maybe Uncle San will be better. Song Qingxu shook his head as he remembered the scars on Zhang Wuji's body and the pain on his face before. What kind of pain is this top dot notchin poison technique of Xianming Divine Palm? And this is just the beginning, there will be many more years ahead. Thinking about it, he feels a bit scared. The protagonist is not that easy to be. If Zhang Wuji doesn't endure these years of Xianming Divine Palm, even if he gets the Nine Yang Manual, he can't achieve it directly. I'll take it step by step. Song Qing Shu stood up and walked out of the study. He couldn't practice, so it was better to take a look at martial arts. He doesn't envy the protagonist Zhang Wuji at all. 
I have been isolated from the world since I was young on ice and fire island, and when I rarely returned, I was beaten. Then came the death of both parents, enduring the torment of the Xianming Divine Palm. Although it was very impressive in the end, the cost was very high. If it were him, he really didn't feel like he could handle it. He is not the idiot who doesn't understand martial arts now, but a descendant of Wudang. The The Nine Yang Manual is a kind of profound martial arts that cannot be mastered by anyone. It is also invincible in the world. Zhang Wuji is extremely talented in martial arts, and on the one hand, he has endured the years of the Xianming Divine Palm. Due to the Xianming Divine Palm, Grand Master Zhang Sanfeng spent countless years of effort stabilizing Zhang Wuji's injuries within his body. Actually, senior uncle doesn't count. By all kinds of coincidences, Zhang Wuji was able to achieve the Nine Yang Manual at the age of 20, and finally became invincible with the great shift of heaven and earth. Even if you have two ideas about how to practice the function of the Nine Yang God, even if you don't become possessed, you will still be useless without internal power. In those years, Mei Chao Feng, Huang Yaoshi's apprentice, obtained the, the Nine Yin Manual. What was the result? Nine Yin White Bone Claw. Invincible. It is unrealistic to obtain a profound martial arts secret book and immediately become invincible in the world. The Nine Yang Manual is still given to Zhang Wuji, and he can teach himself in the future. Zhang Wuji has two more years left in Wudang, and these days must be interesting. Thinking of this, Song Qing Shu smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. My elder brother is like a father, that's interesting. Two years is not short. End of this chapter.